Hey, what's going on, guys? It is I, SP Mask, the mask artist. And oh my goodness, I am running so so late for CradleCon. Oh man, it's it's like the the event has already started. But usually, I like to wait like maybe like one hour or like or like an hour and a half at tops because you know most of the time, um, you know, like like. like there are people there early on like the the, the the vip people but um other than that i like to you know take, take take my time on these things you know so yeah i just got on the li double r as you guys can see this is so awesome i miss traveling you know because it's been over a year since i've been doing this so yeah this is gonna be fun So, um, here we are in Freeport. Yeah, it's a very nice place. So yes. Yeah, as you guys can see, I'm not wearing my sweater cause it is woo, too hot, too hot. Also, um, you, you know, this is like the first time that I'm coming out ever since what happened to me last year. Last year, for those of you that don't know, I lost my mom that was very emotional for me so, and there was no there was like i really didn't want to do anything you know but you know like i i know that you, you know from, from the good grace of god you know josh um he's taking good good care of her so you know where, wherever she is and you know like just doing you know like me taking this step to go back to conventions it's something she wants me to do but also it's something that i want to find out for myself i started because one time i think it was like around 2011 i met this uh artist who who says he does conventions full time all he does is travel you know the entire united states and you know like that inspired me to like okay i'm gonna do the, the exact same thing however um the thing that I realized over my past uh, decade long of doing this, I realized something important, you know, and it's that you, you gotta have a rock behind on what you do. Because if you're thinking, hey, I'm gonna do this as well, you know, for, for a living, that's a good thought. However, um, if, if, your, if your art is like below subpar, I would recommend definitely get a full-time job that that you can do because uh this isn't really like a thing that you can make a career out of i'm already just gonna come straight and say that because you are responsible for everything that, that happens everything is your fault so like if you're okay with losing money and you're not going to get emotional about it then this is for you but if you're the kind of person that is and you know you can't afford you no know, be paying for your food the rent give me rent uh bills like that come in like your phone bill and also if you have let's say if you have a dependent this is probably not going to be the uh, career for you because when i mentioned earlier about your rock The rock meaning if you have somebody else working and then you could do all this then yeah then go go for it it's gonna suck on their end because they're gonna be the ones who you know who carry all that weight on their shoulders that's not cool at all because even if i you know if i had someone i would not do that to, to them at all especially in the time period that we're living in nah that that's just disrespectful So yeah, I just wanted to get that out of, off of my chest. And you know, like, I want to see, you know, like, is this really for me, you know? Because, you know, ever since I started Project Yankee Dama, I want to know more if I'm more of an animator more than say a convention artist. Two years ago, you know, before the whole world changed, um, I have very low expectations for this event, honestly.
All right, guys, I'm in. This is my table. At 18A. And we're gonna set up. So, um, we're done setting up, but you know, I just wanna, you know, I gotta go get me something to eat, you know? So yeah, we're just gonna look around the shelf floor and see what's going on. Here's my setup. I got some Disney stuff. Here's some, some of my art. Sketchy. So here is my Super Smash Bros. Ultimate the Smash Games. Basically, if you could beat me in, basically what we do is we play a, a, a two out, out of three sets. And if you beat me in one game, uh, any Smash print is 50% off. But if you, you can actually beat me in, in a two out of three match, you, you can get a free Smash print. So, so far, I only made two sales today. I sold uh, two prints for 20 and one print at 10. It was like a Bob's Burger piece. And um, so far, um, I only made like 30 bucks. The table cost me 100. So this is the part that I said earlier about, do you really care about if you make money or do you care just about getting your name out there? Honestly, if you're gonna try to get your name out there, you're better off doing something else. But, um, and also if you're in it for money, you know, you're gonna lose steam, it's gonna just exhaust you. So yeah. But one thing that, that, that is good, before this convention started, I actually got a commission to um, do. So we're gonna get started on that. One hour later. I just finished my um, Loki, Loki the pencil sketch so far. This is how it looks. Yeah. The uh, con's about to end soon, and uh, there's not gonna be enough time for me to begin the uh, coloring. So for, for for now, I'm just gonna leave them like this, and I'm gonna come back on day two for tomorrow so I can begin coloring. The next day. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is now day two of Cradle Con. This time, uh, I, I was able to uh, you know leave a bit earlier. I'm still gonna be late there though, because it turns out the uh, trains. They're now gonna be like 
45 minutes delayed because on the fact that it's Sunday so yeah so um, yeah we're gonna see how uh, good day the day two is for Kratokan one hour later that was a quick trip wasn't it uh, <laughs> so we're back again Cradle of the Aviation Museum so yeah let's hope it's busy more today because yesterday I only made like enough money that I'm just $20 short from making my uh, table money back so yeah let's see if we can profit today still pretty dead here it's been like two hours already right <laughs> so we're just gonna continue the commission that we were doing yesterday the Loki commission with coloring it with these bad boys so it turns I actually got a commission to do yes thank you so much Chris you are the man oh man that just basically says I just broke even so I'm like yeah Yes. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the uh, sketch commission and then um, I'm I'm gonna well but, but first I'm gonna eat lunch. See, this is the paper that I got. That's the animation paper that I'm using because I don't have the standard one. I fail. There's my veggie boot. A few minutes later, we were we were able to get the quick sketch done. And I want to try to get the uh, Loki commission done. But uh, yeah, this is how the uh, bleach and uh, I mean Ichigo and Cloud look. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, now on to the other commission. Five hours later. I finished and also it looks like we're beginning to wrap up around here. You can see. And here's the sketch. I got, I got as far as I could with the uh, coloring of the Copics, but I still gotta do uh, ink work. So yeah, so it's like a good, I'm gonna say like 65% done. So that's the end of Cradle Con. There were so many factors in like first, it's the first con, you know, that's reopening back up from, you know, the, the entire situation of the world. There was also like two other shows going on. I know Big Apple was one of them. And they, they said that that one was big. So, yeah. And so it was like, and, it, and today was Sunday. So, you know, most people, they, they mostly bought the uh, one day Saturday pass. So yeah, so like, you know, like if I was gonna decide to go back, like it cannot fall on the same date as another show that's going on. So, so it's like, it's, uh, I'm a little iffy. I mean, I'm glad I made my money back. So I'll hopefully I'll see you guys at Eternal Con. But yeah, right now it's, uh, I'm, I'm in the eh, category if I, if I want to come back or not. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it guys. I'm SP Mask and thanks for stopping by. Of course it falls.